here we are, setting off on the rail trail from Clyde. Going at 12.4 kilometres an hour, which is great because the average speed is reckoned to be about 10 kilometres. So hopefully we will not be too long on each day's section. And this is the first bit on the on the actual rail trail itself, which is a, a graveled pathway with the road at this point running along the side, but there's not a lot of traffic. And it's a very pleasant day. So we've just stopped for a snack break and uh, we are 7.99 kilometers along and it has just started to rain a bit, not too much. So uh, we're going to push on and hope the rain eases off oh, a bit. This is beautiful. Look at all those poppies. Look at all those poppies. And wild thyme. Gosh, the smell is just lovely. <clears throat> and this is a whole hillside of wild thyme and there are beehives up there so I can imagine somebody is producing wild thyme honey and another bridge River is, but <laughs> sound of a lark singing. Is over there. I can hear the bees humming, probably not getting picked up on the camera. Working hard, making good honey for us. A welcome stop in Chateau Creek. A bit of mocha and a, a, a sticky cake. And what did you have? A berry, the tropical, the tropical something or other. Color. Yes. We used to do gold here, which is why all these. Oh good. Nineteen kilometers an hour on the downhill and not even pedaling. Twenty. Oh my god. Twenty one. I have to slow this thing down. I'm going to kill myself. Okay, we've done 34 kilometers and it's downhill all the way to Ofa, I hope. Oh, 
Oh, my cow. Oh, my cow. All right. We got a couple of kilometers to go to Ofa, I think, where we're spending the night, but we're just about there. Black's Hotel. Here we are at Black's Hotel, end of day one. All right. Setting off on Sunday morning from Ofa, and we've got a few spots of rain and the wind is definitely a bit chilly on my bare legs. Ah, beautiful bridge. have made louder a little earlier than we thought. It's just gone 11 o'clock, but we're going to stop for lunch. Here we are at the station side cafe. Let's see what they have to offer. Fun artwork and beautiful lavender. Louder Cafe. Good pair of legs here. Day four from Ranfurly, having spent the night in Naseby, tiny little place, <clears throat> 200 year round inhabitants. 100. 100. 100. And the oldest cricket pitch in constant use in New Zealand. Steady wind at our backs, which is nice. And a little downhill trail. So hopefully it's going to continue like this for the rest of today and tomorrow. And we'll have shorter, less hard days. Beautiful scenery.
And we made it to Hyde. Uh, very nasty headwind the last few kilometres. Uh, time for lunch and then find our accommodation. Okay, as we set off on day five, <clears throat> Hyde to Middlemarch. A mix of clouds and blue sky and pretty light wind although the forecast is that it's going to pick up <clears throat> but hopefully it's going to stay a tailwind and give us a steady push down into Middlemarch. We've stopped here because there are sheep on the road and they're eyeing us up, not sure whether we're going to hurt them or not. Uh, maybe they'll just get off the road, they think. Yeah, yeah, off they go, that's good. And it's possible we are seeing the buildings of Middlemarch up ahead. We are in Middlemarch. We've made it. 20 years to the month, almost to the day since the Otago Central Rail Trail was opened by the Honourable Dennis Marshall, Minister of Conservation.